Hello and welcome to Let's React slash Analyze SpongeBob Battle for Gummy Bones trailer for Shut up for no one cares about you. We're gonna analyze the trailer the best on my capabilities. Let's begin. As we can see here's SpongeBob, Patrick Sandy, look beautiful. No one's denying how beautiful they look. Little thingies and Doug looks amazing. These all look cool. The little robot little robot pineapple looks amazing. We see robotic SpongeBob in the background. This is gonna be amazing. Let's get going on. Now this part here, there's one thing missing. There were three enemies in the original of this part. There was one of the standards or nothing. There were three batting him around, but only two were really hitting him. Yeah, only that like, two were doing it. So that's one thing that's missing an enemy about. What can you do? Yeah, there's actually proper bubble effects. Never noticed that. Even when the anvil crushing, you actually see bubble effects. Just quite, quite well detailed, actually. Really well detailed. Gary looks adorable. See, go back just a little bit. Shut up, phone. Now, right here, he used to have like a little antennas. But as you can see, no longer antennas. It's a little fishbowl thing. Look, fine, looks adorable. And little crosses here. They had a hot sauce. Never there in the original. New detail, nice. And the underwear seems to be in its own little bubble. I don't remember being in a bubble. Was it in a bubble? I do not remember. Let's continue. Oh, buddy. Now, Patrick's socks. This is definitely different. His socks used to just sit there with nothing around him, but now it's in a little bubble. Eh, it's Patrick who cares. <laughs> Everyone loves him, though. Okay. Let's go back to the boat real quick, because... Shush. Wow, that fell so much quicker than it used to. It used to be so difficult to jump off it, but now look how smooth that is. That is so smooth. Oh, so now you have to get up to the tiki's and spin them. Normally you get up to them, spin, they immediately go straight down, but I guess they do not now. Hmm. I like the little eyes got little glows in them. It looks so adorable. I wish this game was released now. I really want to play it. Love SpongeBob. Hi. Yep. Now, the most important part of the game, the Texas symbols. In one of the first trailers of the game we saw, there was no flying symbols of Texas. Which was a big shame, because you need Texas. You can't not have a thing of Texas. At least now we know they're here. This is the second mission in the game they're currently showing off. Which is amazing. <laughs> so we've got some Kelpo here. Never noticed that that's a Kelpo in the original, that's good. Area we've got to battle the army of robots. Looks a lot brighter than it used to. Kind of disappointing being a bit brighter, but what can you do? Uh -oh. Okay, right here. Slight nitpick, but I am going to say it. In the original, you could see SpongeBob's crack. That sounds so weird saying that, but you could. And it was such a cool detail because it. His pants were slightly pulled back and his underwear was fully pulled up. It was such a cute little detail and it's not here. I'm a bit disappointed, but what can you do? Like okay, fair enough, that's fair enough. Now Sandy's shell. This looks like a shell, as always. Uh, fuck saying that. I'm an idiot. I'm a yellow hat. Okay. Not the best angle of it, but the angry Tiki looks so much more pissed off than he used to. I mean, look at him. He looks like he's ready to kill you when you get near him. A cool driving instructor. Nice. And there's a little angry. You can see, as you kind of see him there. Cute. Yeah, Sandy's animation changed there a bit. That's the end of the trailer. See? SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. The battle is on. This game was one of the best games for its time ever. And this trailer is just proving that we need this game now. We don't need to wait. We need it now. I will link the trailer in the description for you guys to go watch it. I might actually upload it myself if you want. Just let me know if you want me to upload it. But till then, I'll put it in the description. And I hope they do put a tribute somewhere in it to Steven Hillberg, the guy who created SpongeBob. He's dead, but we need like a tribute to him somewhere in the game. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. Like me on Facebook, link in the description, and Twitch, both in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.